angle number two, which is your backhand landing right towards the side of the neck. There's a couple of variations. This block, number two block, is one that we use a lot. And this is, it can be either there or a slash block that I'm coming off of. We're gonna work on just this angle of attack. This first one I'm using here. When I'm doing this block, I wanna make sure that I'm backstopped through my floor. I don't want my elbow out where I'm like a karate block. I will get injured. So you've gotta tuck that elbow in and lift. He's coming in, boom. This can then be strikes, but for disarms, we're gonna go here. This one I come in, I'm gonna trap the weapon close to the hilt if it's a blade, on the back side of a blade if it's a blade, and then I'm gonna chop through. Again, this is a tick as I'm going through, so it'll be hitting him right here. When I'm practicing, I'm going out to the outside. So he comes in, boom, okay? And I'm letting it flow through. One more time, he's in, boom. And that strikes through and follows up. Deflect, make your impact. This could be with the stick. It could be with the blade. But I'm striking it through and coming back in with the technique. All right, so as he come in, lifting, checking through, boom. Notice that inward, I'm bringing it back down to my hip right here. So if I switch sides for a sec, boom, I'm bringing it through to my hip. So I'm really gaining that. So if he, for instance, if he was being strong enough and held on, I don't wanna go here, because if it's going here, it may pull something through me. When he comes in, I trap it, I bring it back to my hip, Boom, so if he's holding on, look where he's going, off balance right there. I could still hit with the puño and so on. Bang, through. And, and you wanna get used to doing it the second you hear the click, right there. Coming in, boom, very nice. And you can see how that can hit the face and so on. Second variation, stopping it here, great find it. So again, stop it. Thumb to thumb, tip goes under, looking for the fold of the wrist. I'm gonna bring it this way. And on this, I can just turn the palm up and rake it out. But if I add that uprooting of somebody, and we'll add footwork later on this stuff, but if I take this and I bring this back to my shoulder, so I'm ready to launch that strike, that's the best position you wanna bring it to. So he's coming on that angle too again. Boom, right here. Same thing, thumb to thumb. Rotate up. As it's coming from the rotation, I want to pull, and I'm back into my loaded position from there. One more time. Here, stopping the hand, thumb to thumb. Rotate, pull. Now you can see if you really want to snap on this, there's a point right here, if I get nice and tight, where I can actually get that thumb and break that thumb right there. Here, boom, and then. So you can see how sometimes I can also ensure that I get this by pushing this stick to hit his forearm as I pull back. And I get that release right there. Boom. Bang. Third one. Here. Okay. Just snapping it loose. So he comes here. I come under. I can actually catch the tip of the stick right here. Break that loose. And go for whatever I want. Let's look at that one again. Bang, wrist is over the back of his wrist. I snake under with my palm up into the tonsil, come around and I snake around is why they call it the snake. And I, I don't wanna bring my elbow up high, I just wanna bring it down into me. Strike there. I'm using this back to the body position so that I can uproot his balance and I have that power base in my control. So again, boom, here wrap, I can also add the check if I need to. Just depending on the time you have, very good, boom, check. If I have enough single, bang, maybe he's swinging something back at me, I can still use my stop right here. More, boom, here, say he's swinging something at me, I could pick it up, boom, boom, use my close range stop. So let us know if you like these series because we're gonna continue. The next one will be countering a stab. Somebody coming, digging right in. So look for series number three on our top threes of disarms.
Let us know what you thought of the video in the comment section below.